Ask your analytics. What percentage of our visitors are coming from social media? Which social media network is sending us the most visitors? How likely are these visitors from social media to engage with our website? That first question, what percentage of visitors are coming from social media, can be answered in the acquisition reports. If we look at acquisition, all traffic, channels, we can see all the different channels that are sending traffic to our website, including social. If we switch to the pie chart view, we can very easily see that for this website, 5.8% of visitors are coming from social media. Which social media networks are sending us the most traffic? For that, we can look under acquisition social network referrals, and that will show us all the different social media networks and the relative strength of each at sending us visitors. This is the number of sessions from each social media network. In this case, we can see that visitors from Twitter uh, outstrip visitors from other social networks by about two to one. But how likely are these visitors to really engage with our website? How likely are they to become either newsletter subscribers or leads? That information is most easily found in the all traffic referrals section. And here we can see sources from every different other website, but how likely they are to take an action. Over here on the far right of the data report, we can see the conversions. In this case, the conversion into newsletter subscriber. Now we see that 0.7% of visitors from Twitter become newsletter subscribers, compared to Facebook, 1.3%. We can choose any conversion on our website from this dropdown, anything for which we've set up a goal, including things like contact leads. Now we can see that really only a tiny percentage of visitors from social media become actual leads in this case. Uh, about one-tenth of one percent of visitors from Twitter and Facebook. There you go. What percentage of our visitors are from social media? Which percentage of social media visitors are coming from each network? And how likely are these visitors to take action on our website? Now you can answer each of these questions for yourself in your own analytics.